It's like, I'm getting my keys out, I'm in the elevator, and I drop my keys. Good morning! Happy... What's today? Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Oh, it is Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Yes. I got all confused with the days. Whenever I work off-site or I don't go to the office, I get confused. And I went to the... I was off-site Monday and Tuesday. I'm back! <coughs> Still sick. But my attitude is good. Gonna be the best day ever. It's gonna go fast. And I miss the bubbles already. We per I had some extra time. That, well, not extra time, but I was actually... I woke up late, but I ended up like not taking time a lot of time to get ready because I'm going to work not a fashion show so we played fetch for like 15 minutes and he was having so much fun and so hopefully it tired him out a little bit so he'll take a well he always takes a nap after I leave because I spy on him with the camera but hopefully he'll take a longer nap and he won't realize that I'm gone for all day Hopefully I'll get to see some bars tonight. I don't know. We've all just seemed to be so busy during the week. But Brandisha is moving in in T minus. I think we're at 30 something days now. Whoop, whoop. Is it a month? We're, we're almost close to a month. I'm so happy. I, she's not moving in my apartment. She's moving to my complex. She's gonna live right behind me. It's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna have the Molly Moos and the Brandy Burr. I'm just actually in a good mood. I don't know if I'm hopped up on cold medicine. Oh my god. I didn't even finish. I didn't vlog at all last night. I vlogged, I think, like a smidge yesterday morning. I was so sick and I had to go to work and do training. But last night, I was like so coughing so much and I felt terrible. And I have like this prescription cough syrup, like scissor. And I, I haven't taken it yet because it's a little expired. I need to throw it away. And last night I was like, you know what? I feel like SH, I, I took it. And then like, I felt better and I felt kind of happy. And I was like, then I started sweating and I was getting dizzy and everything slowed down and I like puked my guts out. So I threw it away. So don't take expired scissor or cough medicine because you will feel happy you'll get dizzy you'll start sweating bullets and then you'll puke your brains out on a brighter note I ate junk food for dinner so I don't think it counts now because I threw it up that probably shouldn't be on a brighter note but I try to make everything positive I'm gonna go I'm gonna get my mind focused and if anyone has any tips on how they focus and push out negativity or negative people or in my case, like a pest, let me know how you deal with that person. And no, it's not necessarily, it doesn't have to be at work, it could be at home or just in life. Leave me a comment because I'm dealing with a pest and I just need a more positive way to like get that person out of my brain space. Because I realize like, I can't let one person control my life. And I just need to... You know what my mom told me to do? And my mom never like talks like this. My mom was like, F that B. And my mom never says curses. Like, I'm 33. And like the only time I like legit ever heard her say a curse was when we got in a car accident. And she still was like, oh, excuse me, French. So since I can't do that, like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't talk too much about it because I don't know, you know, people know I have a channel or whatever and I don't want people to assume that I'm talking about them when I may not necessarily be talking about that person. But it's just like this situation and I'm just like, I can't with you anymore. And I just want to like, be respectful and just, psh, psh, to the left, to the left. Yay, the light's green. So, I will talk to y'all later. I'm also so No, don't turn yellow. Don't turn red. I'm going YOLO. Okay, that was a really bad idea. Go, 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 go. 
yeah so i'm so sorry i put a repeat for two days but please forgive me because y'all i was so sick and i've worked a lot our training was crazy and i took bentley to school last night even though i felt like crap but i felt like i paid for it i really really like his teacher his teacher really likes him and it's a good group and i i don't know i, I feel like i paid for it i don't want to miss it it's not that expensive but you can't really make it up especially he doesn't have another intermediate class like on the same schedule so we wouldn't be able to make it up even though he's super nice and he probably would do like a private with me but he already gave me two private lessons at no extra cost so i don't want to ask for more but bentley's doing so good we were doing like figure aids and distracted walking loose leash walking we're working to get his good canine citizen award which i really hope we can pass the test but he's doing so well and it's just like i'm so proud of him i'm like i'm so proud of him he's a dog but i am because at the other school his teacher made me feel hopeless like she said it without saying that he didn't even really she didn't think he would be a candidate at that time for intermediate level and that she understands if a whoops red light she understands that if i don't want to pay for it that i wouldn't want to put him back in beginner again but to maybe work with him for eight weeks and then consider intermediate and i went with my guts because i'm like my dog's not stupid like i kind of feel like she didn't like me which is okay everybody's not gonna like me i don't expect everyone to like me and i felt like i wanted to please her and i maybe because she was like world renowned and she has all these awards and her dog has all these awards and I think I like over respected her and she, everything I did was like wrong and not good enough and Bentley wasn't good enough and then it's like I take him to this other class and we have two private lessons because the other dogs didn't show up so I was like you know I had two solid one-on-ones my dog is fine he could almost I think out of ten things he can pass six for the good canine citizen test. She said he wasn't even a candidate. So, I don't know if it's age. Maybe he matured a little bit over the last few weeks, but he's fine. And maybe because I, I connect with this teacher better, so he doesn't make me feel stupid or nervous. And I don't know. I'm just really pissed that I took him to the other school because it was a complete waste of money to be honest with you like yeah we learned some things and it's all like bloody da snooty snooty but it really it wasn't worth it because in the end I didn't get much out of it but like a learning experience and who wants a $200 learning experience I don't and the class where he goes now is half of that and I feel like it should be worth more. Maybe I should get him a gift for the last class, like as a thank you. Even though we'll probably be back, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna sign him up for anything right away, but unless he gives another tricks class, because he's a really good trick trainer, so I might do that, but I don't know. I'm talking so much and I'm halfway to work, so I'm gonna go, because I need to finish planning my day in my head, because I started in my file of facts, but I am finished because I threw up everywhere. Bye! Guess who's still sick? <coughs> I have nothing to heal me. Nothing. Nothing in here has healing powers. I thought I was getting better. Like, I was like, oh, this is almost over. It's not. And I'm going to go to bed. I got to go to the store and I don't want to. Well, I don't feel like it. And I asked Bentley to go for me. I'm like, can you just go to CVS and get me something? Because I'm going to die. My hair looks really light. Anyway. He was like, I'm only seven months old. I can't drive. And I was like, you're so useless. Let me tell you what happened today. It's so embarrassing. I just took a honey shot because I don't have real medicine. Okay. So I was leaving work and I was all excited because I was dying. I was all like, eh, 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 all day. And then... I was like, I'm getting my keys out, I'm in the elevator, and I dropped my keys. I dropped my keys. I was like, they were in the elevator crack. That's, that, that was my face. Like, And it happened in slow motion. It was like, 
my brain, like, I knew it was going to happen. I'm like, I'm going to drop my keys in the elevator crack. And then it happened. And I was like, oh. So what did I do? I called Brandy because, you know, that, that makes sense. But well, it was also after hours, and, like, the one guy that I know that can, like, that's, like, the building maintenance, not maintenance guy, like, the property, I don't know what he's, we'll just call him, him. He was gone for the day. So, I had to go find a supervisor, and I was like, what's the protocol if, like, the elevator needs to be serviced because something fell, like if there's someone's keys in the crack. And she was all like, you have to call so-and-so. And I'm like, but so-and-so left. So then I asked the cleaning lady. I don't know why I asked the cleaning lady. I don't, what is all with the light? She was like, I don't know. Okay, I can't imitate the cleaning lady's voice, but it probably sounds like my voice sick. So I felt so bad I had to call him and he was already off site and he had to come back and stick a thing in the elevator and I had to hold the door while he crawled, oh I don't have pants on, while he crawled in the elevator crack to retrieve my keys. And it literally took 47 seconds and I feel really bad and I feel like I should get him a present or like bake something but I don't know what he likes and I don't know what he would want and I, I can't do that. I know y'all want to see family, but we got to walk out backwards because we don't have pants on. You little Muppet. Explain yourself. Come here. Venaki, come. We have to have a talk. What did I tell you? Focus, focus. Good boy. What did I tell you about going in my purse and taking things out? Focus. <clears throat> How many times have I told you not to do that? Do you want a pow pow? Are you talking back? Focus. Focus. Sit. Sit. That's not a sit. That's a lay. I'm trying to have a disciplinary talk with you. Do you want do you want a chancla? Do you want a chancla la cabeza? Boop, 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 boop. Do you want me to tear your butt up? I'm not. Say you're sorry. Do you want to get punished? I will <coughs> I'm trying to discipline you. I'm taking his phone, his iPad, and I'm turning off the Wi-Fi. And I'm taking my purse. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You were so bad. You were so bad. You are so bad, Bentley. Come here. Bentley. Uh-uh. No. Those are tissues. Bentley. Come here. Say. Give it to me. Are you having a good time? He's so bad. <coughs> we are going on an adventure to go find drugs because I can't live like this anymore. I'm going to take the bubbles. I'm going to try to smuggle him in the store and just say that he's a service animal. Oh, I just realized I was so zoomed in. We're going on a secret mission to get drugs because I think I was all the way zoomed in before. Y'all need to see my pores. Let's go to the shower. And then I got out and sat there and like let it steam because that's supposed to make you better. I don't know. Didn't do jack shizzle. So nasal, my nasal. So we gonna go to CVS real quick. I hate leaving him in the car. But I want him to come with me because I don't want to leave him because it's our bonding time. So I'm gonna smuggle him in. Maybe I should bring my big purse. 
I'll just say he's a service dog. Can't get in trouble for that. The law. He's a service dog because I'm sick and his service is guiding me to the cold and cough medicine aisle. I'll probably get kicked out of CBS. And if I do, I'll just go Walgreens because it's right across the street. Okay, so I just bought the whole damn aisle in Walgreens. And you know you feel like SHI-ish when you open everything in the car and take it. I got that, that, I got that. Nicola. The holes are starting to make me nauseous. And then because I feel like I deserve a present, I got my absolute fave no-no marshmallow pumpkins. I love them. I'm only gonna get one pack this season. And the bubbles, he couldn't come in. I didn't try, but there was like three other cars here with little dogs in them, so. I was like, I'll let you look at the other doggies. So we're gonna call it a night because we're gonna go home and go to bed. We'll actually have to go home and stuff 800 Kongs and then go to bed. Well, Bubbles, say good night to all your friends. Bye guys, we're in an adventure. Can you give your friends the kisses? You wanna give them one more kisses? You're such a sweet Bobby. Bye!